throw this in the video because this is the real part of traveling alone. Before diving into today's solo travel video to Nara, Japan, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. I am self-taught when it comes to videography and something that was really holding me back from growth was not having like a structured class. The Skillshare has been extremely valuable in ex expediting my progress and creativity. The recent class that I took is how to film solo without the FOMO and it's taught by Dan Dan Liu who is a filmmaker. And I really enjoyed her class. It brought a lot of value to me and how I wanted to approach this video for you guys. I learned a lot from her class about really minimizing your equipment, but also how to get the best out of your shots. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description is going to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Unlock your creativity.
はいはいはい、あ、ほんならいいんだけど。はい、おやすみなさい、なんかあったら、大丈夫よ。あ,、はい、あのあ、おやすみ。おやすみなさい。morning everybody it is about 8 30 in the morning the airbnb that i'm staying in is so stunning uh, if you guys haven't seen my house tour i live in a modern style japanese home and i've been in traditional japanese homes but i've never like stayed in one i will say like to show up alone when you're also scared of the dark and you've also been traumatized from Japanese scary movies growing up. Um, it may not have been the wisest decision because I was a little spooked. You can just hear all the creaks in the house and I think that the house for one person is rather large. Today's plan is to go to Nara Park to look at the deers. Um, I'm gonna go try some local food that's supposed to be very, very good. There's some mochi and then like, Sushi wrapped in persimmon leaves, I think is what it's called. The first thing we're going to do this morning is a mini house tour. I want to show you guys how beautiful this home is now that there's actually like light and it doesn't look like a scary movie. For two nights, it was about 180 US dollars, which is a splurge for me, but I wanted to. I wanted to, so I did. This is called a genkan, which is basically a mud room. So you take your shoes off in the stone area and then you put your slippers on here. It's the entrance to the home. At the first door, we have the bathroom. Here's the shower room. I actually took a shower last night and I really wanna take a bath in here. It looks so relaxing. And the street is right here and all the windows and walls in the house are very, very thin so you can hear everything. This is just a toilet room. Under the staircase, there's like a little study space and the Airbnb host who is absolutely amazing has like little maps provided to show you around the area and then a little list of their recommendations. It's so quiet. And then if we go over here, they actually have a garden. I think I need to have 
my morning coffee here tomorrow. This is nice. I love the long kitchen in here. It's so pretty. This is the tatami room. And this room is one, two, three, five tatami mats. And in Japan, rooms are measured by how many tatamis are in them. I personally do not know all of the uses for a tatami room. So if anybody watching this can help us by leaving a comment, please do. This is the only actual physical bed in the house. And here, these open. These are beds, so you would lay them out flat in the tatami room to sleep. Now what we're going to do is go out and explore. So I will see you guys in just a few minutes. I just got to Naramachi and I'm renting a bike. The gentleman is so nice. I went with a bike that has gears on it so I can shift because it might be a little hilly in some areas. And it was about 10 US dollars to rent. This house is almost 100 years old. 100 years. Your hobby room. Yeah, we have. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and there are many cartoons. Do you draw? No. It's uh, my friend uh, present to us. And uh, this uh, cartoon is has uh, every uh, cartoon has a uh, small uh, old histories in Naramachi area. Oh. This area is, uh, has a uh, one thousand. 1,300 years history. So, very, very old history. There are many from uh, Nara period, Heijo Palace. There, very cute uh, dock there and shrine. Yes. Hi. And uh, uh, monkey there. It's a um, the guard, guardman of this area. <laughs> oh, the monkey guards. The monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and the symbol of a house guardian is this one. Is that every um, old uh, house has a guardman at the top of the roof or front of the roof. Oh. We have also. Okay, I'm gonna look for Shoksan, that. Yeah. What is his name? Shoki. Shoki. Shoki san. Shoki san. With Tokonoma in the old style. And uh, this roof is the uh, uh, most expensive uh, roof of Japan. Why? Because the, this one was came from uh, Nara Park. Nara Park is a, a national treasure, so we can know more this materials. Oh, this specific wood. Spe spe you can't take uh, from. It's a uh, world heritage, so no one cut the trees. All the period, this one was get. When the typhoon come here, then fall down the trees. Only those small quantity uh, can uh, we can get. So these uh, material we can get no more. I'm basically just riding my bike around and stopping whenever I see something beautiful.
just got my Golshuin signed. By the way, it's very hot today. I think. Yeah. So pretty. And then the monk <gasps> gave me the deer origami and told me it was a present. Oh, so sweet. So this is the deer food that they're selling for 200 yen and the deers can actually eat the paper. Okay, I will give you one, I promise. I'm not kidding. These deers like bit my butt. Here, here, here. Here. Okay. I don't have any more. I don't have any more. <laughs> also just gonna throw this in the video because this is the real part of traveling alone. Um, so I was just minding my business, taking photos of the deer, and there's actually a group of men here. There's like 10 of them who are obviously foreigners, and I know that they're studying because one of them came up and approached me from behind, which freaked me out, and struck up a conversation, was asking if I was traveling alone, who I was here with, where I lived, um, so obviously I lied. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this, and um, you've never traveled alone, or even just life in general, like always lie about your name, never give a real story about who you are and what you're doing. I feel like those are the only times it's like definitely okay to lie. I actually have literally a fake job, a fake employment, uh, fake everything, so I can talk for days about uh, a fake life that I live here because, I don't know, it's so, so, so weird, like, and then ask if I'm traveling alone. No, sorry, my husband's looking at the temple over there. I'm just waiting for him here. I don't like that. I wish I had seen this sign sooner. It says the deer of Nara Park are wild animals and they can occasionally attack people, so please be careful. So they might bite, kick, butt you, or knock you down. This park is actually very, very lovely. I could honestly sit here all day and just people watch and like watch all the little kids play with the deer. Um, the deer are savages, so just be mindful of that. They'll like grab your bag, they'll grab your jacket, they'll bite your butt. Um, but yeah, let's move on to something else. Sushi wrapped in persimmon leaves. Isn't that pretty? We're just crossing the road.
Nara is known for having some of the deepest roots in Japanese culture. This is because Nara is actually the original capital of Japan, which then moved to Kyoto, which then moved to present day Tokyo. The most famous tourist attraction in Nara is Nara Park to see the famous deer, but you may not know why they remain so famous and so special in the Japanese culture. The park itself covers a huge area, and within the park, you will find Kasuga Taisha Shrine. There is a deity enshrined here, which is said to have ridden to Nara upon a sacred deer. Because of this legend, deer were thought of as sacred animals, the helpers of God, and to this day, Nara's deer are carefully protected as natural monuments. Although they may seem like a fun tourist attraction, they are highly protected and sacred in the Japanese culture. Now I am off to Kyoto to meet up with a friend, so I will see you guys in the next vlog. Make sure you're subscribed. Shamatta!